Yes, uh, thank you very much for being here today. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you and for your attention. For those uh, who are visually impaired, I will just do a quick bio description. I am a man wearing uh, a blazer, I'm bald with a beard, and we are in a seminar full of nice people. So yes, uh, what is a license? Um, well, I think that the free software movement is very much concerned about licenses, and we talk about this a lot. But uh, I would like today to introduce you of uh, the license from the legal aspects, okay? And for that, I would like to explain first what we consider as software. Uh, so when we talk about license, we need to understand from the legal perspective what software is, okay, especially here in the European Union, and why we are so concerned about software licensing, why licenses is so important for us, um, and I will, in the end of my presentation, I will move a little bit just from the, the legal aspect and go also to the community aspect of license as an uh, enable of software uh, communities, okay? So please bear with me, and um, if you have some uh, questions, Right, um, Niharika did a, a great presentation about uh, copyright and she explained to us that copyright here in the European Union or at least in those countries that are signatories of the Berne Convention, it applies by default. It means that, um, well, when a software developer starts writing a, a, a software, um, she does not necessarily need to register this work or in, in any kind of a governmental agency, but copyright is time, starting to apply by default. And what does this lead, right? Um, well, basically, people say, oh, I, I, I'm not uh, concerned uh, about this. I think I just can go and use the, 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 the work, copyrighted work, the software that has been developed by, by someone. But uh, we also learned today in our legal track that lice, no license uh, uh, does not mean public domain, right? So basically, uh, when the set of copyrights uh, is being enforced, is, is already being valid, you are not allowed to take copyrighted work, and in our case here is software, and just use it. You need a permission. You need an authorization of the copyright holder. Okay? So uh, in this sense, license is nothing more and nothing less than a permission, as an authorization. So who has the copyright, for example, a software the developer has um, developed or a company, whatever. And if you wanted to reuse this work, you needed to get a permission. So license are permissions, are authorizations, all right? So if there is no license, um, basically there is no authorization. So you are not allowed to do this. So we, we love free software and the entire free software movement is license dependable. While we have this copyright system I I here, um, we need license in order to empower people to reuse software. Otherwise, um, reuse is not possible uh, with authorization, okay? So, um, we understood that license is an authorization, but authorization for what, okay? So, we need to understand what is software. And for that, I would like to quote uh, the software directive. So, directive uh, from originally from 2001, but uh, there was some requirement in 2009. Uh, and um, in European legislation, there is no precise definition of software. But uh, when we, usually we talk um, and we take the definitions from uh, yeah, some uh, technical boards, we can consider that software is a set of instructions, instructions that are executed by a machine, by more precisely a computer, right? And the software directive, this uh, European uh, legislation does not define this, but um, establish some principles for copyright protection over software, okay? And they use the term uh, computer programs, right? And the first one uh, I would like to highlight here is, that's it, member states, the European member states, uh, shall protect uh, computer programs by copyright, okay? So as literary work. So it's not choosing, like for an example, patent law, you know, it's not choosing any other um, uh, area of the law, but it's considering software as uh, literary works as today we learned also from Niharka's presentation. And this, um, this is very important uh, because the copyright protection shall apply to expression to any form of computer program. So we are not talking about ID 
ideas. For example, a, a software developer ha has an idea and wants to uh, implement this, but the idea that he has, uh, that she has in her head, um, it's not protected by copyright. But at the moment that these ideas are being implemented, are, are, are being put in some median, then uh, copyright protection starts to apply. And ideas and principles which underlie any element of a computer program are not protected. So these are very important principles. Right, so now we under, understand uh, about yeah, this dichotomy about what is a software uh, idea or, you know, idea for a software and what is the expression. But, right, so what, when I, we, we're talking about this expression um, for the law, what is the expression? Well, um, today we learned, uh, especially in Gabriel's presentation, that software, well, is everywhere and it concerns everything. So basically, uh, when we are analyzing software from the legal perspective, we, uh, usually there is um, yeah, some classification, right? When we are talking about drivers, basically is this software used for device control, right? So the, the first laid interaction with some kind of hardware. So we're talking about, you know, driver for mouse, for memory, or you know, Wi-Fi, and etc. But also, uh, there's another classification, uh, other type of software. Uh, we, we call the, the kernel, and for an example, uh, the, the GNU Linux, uh, where this software uh, executes this, the, the core functions of, of a system, right? And of course, uh, you, uh, we as users, usually we have contact more with applications. So the, this type of software that are used for, um, uh, to perform a specific tasks. So browser games, you know, and any other type of, of, of apps. But there's, uh, for software licenses, there is a very important um, definition and differentiation that we need to, tell, to talk, and especially uh, people that are talking about the free software, it's much concern about source code. So, uh, you know, uh, and uh, source code is what is really important for the community and for software license, free software licensing in, in general. And for yeah, uh, I will just explain a little bit what is the difference uh, between source code and executable code, right? So basically, let, let's take a look here. Uh, for example, uh, we have here in our um, in our devices uh, software that has been running here, but uh, usually the, the software that has been running is um, uh, is in a, in a type of expression from yeah uh, from the, the legislation point of view that. Uh, should be understood by the machine that it's running. So basically, it is in executable form. So we, we also call that uh, binaries or objectable code because basically computers understand this binary code, okay? So this is not suitable for human reading or understanding. This is a, a bunch of, uh, you know, zero and one. In order for humans to start working um, with software, and of course, there are some exceptions when you're talking about reverse engineering, the compilation, of course, but um, the basic, uh, the human readable uh, form of software code is source code. And that's why this is extremely important for licensing. And the source code is not just the set of instructions for the machine, but it's also the working environment for software development. There is comments there in source code. There's information about license. There is information about copyright holders. So uh, source code is the working environment. So that's why this is really important for software licensing and precisely for free software. And when we're talking about proprietary and free software, usually we need to take in consideration this differentiation, okay? So, uh, uh, when we talk about uh, licensing, these permissions, it because copyright law gives the copyright holders a full spectrum of rights management, you know, and there is also this gradation, this spectrum, when we, we see all rights retained, perhaps we are talking about trade secrets, but the public domain is all rights uh, waived, but copyleft and, and you know, permissive or no reciprocal license uh, are here. You know, uh, sometimes more rights are granted, sometimes uh, not so much. Right, when we are talking about software license uh, models, basically we have two. Uh, we have proprietary, which the main purpose is to limit ways to access and control source code. We are talking about source code, so where, you know, all the fun happens. 
and, uh, and free and open source that uh, we know that the main purpose is software freedom. And here we have differentiation between reciprocal and non-reciprocal license. And these types of, uh, of uh, um, software uh, licensing directly impacts on software business model, I'm sorry, and in software development. Right. Uh, but this is also an important element that I would like to, to point that, that we are talking about software um, license, but also when there are computer programs and, for example, video games that are software but it, it implements other, other layers of information, for example, uh, audio, video, and text, it's important to say that uh, sometimes software license is not the best instrument to regulate this kind of permissions. That's why we are talking about license for content and data. And here I would like to point out for uh, the, the Creative Commons licenses that are suitable for audio videos and image documentation data and metadata okay so um, in the last part of my presentation um, free, when we are talking about the free and open uh, source licensing we are talking about the sets of permissions and authorizations but this is also very important the license itself is very important for software community when we are talking about it and that's why we are so concerned about the type of license because the license um, Sometimes it's considered as constitution, uh, you know, of, the, 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 of the, the communities because it sets the term of use and distribution of software. It constitutes the basis for working environment among developers and users and establish the ground for software maintenance and further development. Okay, so with that, I hope that we made some uh, progress in making uh, license a little bit clear. And I thank you very much for your attention and hope to counter with your questions. Thanks.